Imagine two knights racing toward each other with lances positioned for impact. The first lowers his weapon. The second keeps on coming, unmoved by his opponent's interest and in avoiding a tragedy. Donald Trump has just offered a compromise to address the border crisis and the government shutdown. Nancy Pelosi rejected it even before he announced his deal. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. I'm proud of President Trump for being a man of his word, struggling to build the border wall. Congress is trying to keep him from fulfilling his promise and shares any blame for the roughly month-long partial government shutdown. Now, President Trump is agreeing to two measures that would have pleased his opponents if they were offered independently of the compromise. Number one, and here's a quote, three years of legislative relief for 700,000 DACA recipients brought here unlawfully by their parents at a young age many years ago. This extension will give them access to work permits, social security numbers, and protection from deportation, most importantly. Number two, the president would allow immigrants who are being protected because their lives are at great risk in their home countries to stay in the U.S. for the next three years, allowing time for a better solution. In exchange, Trump hopes to see funding for the wall, humanitarian assistance, and related measures. The president made his announcement immediately after a naturalization ceremony in the Oval Office, in which he observed that the U.S. naturalizes 700,000 immigrants a year. He noted that illegal immigration reduces wages and strains public services. Vast quantities of lethal narcotics are flooding through our border and into our communities, including meth, cocaine, heroin, and fentanyl. I have to admit, I have mixed views on the government shutdown. I don't like it when an employer disregards needs of its employees from whom it demands total loyalty. Nevertheless, inaction on the border crisis holds the whole country, not just government employees, as hostages. I really want to make this simple. Remember in public school when someone cut into the lunch line ahead of students who were already there? Some kids even allowed their buddies to cut directly in front of them, inconveniencing everyone further back. That's what's happening. Legal immigrants who have been jumping through the hoops for years are being bypassed by illegals who don't respect them or the system. As for Nancy Pelosi, it's time to put down your lance. Don't act like a spoiled child. You can't always have your own way especially when it conflicts with the security of the American people. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. you hear this.com.